Hey friends, how's it going? Today, we're gonna to be installing the wireless RS-1000 to an air control controller. Bring down air controller, it's right in the background, right over there. And uh, yeah, let's get busy. Okay, here's what we got. Instructions, little adapter thing, receiver, and we're gonna mount that first, install that first. Oh, some sticky foam tape for install, screws, and then our sensor that I well, can't see it very well, but gets mounted up on the roof. First thing we're gonna do is turn off the power. So right now, uh, I'll just open that up, and it's right here, the electrical panel. So I'm pretty sure it's this one. And then we will test it with our multi tester with one hand. And touch, touch, and it's off. And then I also tested this beforehand just to make sure everything was working. Uh, make sure my tester was working and is at 24 volts. So let's dive on into this thing. The double side tape on. I'm gonna mount it right here. So we want the wires to come up through here into the controller. And also, we're gonna take the wire, this little wire, and uh, it's supposed to kind of come up. So we'll, for now, we'll do that. But now, stick it on here, see if it sticks. Push, push, push. And make sure it's level, which I did. Mm -mm. Now, mostly did. Uh, we got two red wires. I don't know if you can see them. They're, they're kind of orange. Red wires can go to power. We know that's off. And then, and then this is uh, for a pump relay. And we're not doing that, so I'm not going to show it to you. And normally I kind of get this a little bit better, but this is my dad's, so. I don't really care. So we're gonna get this thing going here. Oh, that one's gonna be a good one. Oh yeah, that'd be perfect. Perfect. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And they're good. All right. So we're gonna wire this in and break the common with the uh, wires coming in from the receiver. And we're not gonna use the sensor down here. There's some sensor terminals, but it just does not work with the wireless rain sensor. So we just disconnect the common wire, and it'll be up here or. I uh, can't remember, some of the other models might have them over, over here or over here. So just look for VC, VC common. Then I'm gonna just wire up, um, I'm gonna just do the brown and the common here. The brown coming off the receiver. And all I've got is a grease cap, so we'll just do grease cap instead of just a regular wire knot. Twist it on there, pull it, make sure it's good. And then we'll just take this other common from the receiver and just wire it in there. And screw it on, and then we're gonna go test it. Now, we're gonna turn the power back on. And then we're gonna check it right here at the 24 volts. You see that we're up to 27 and a half. So we are live, live. Now, take our sensor. Right, here's our sensor. 
We're gonna bend that booger down, that baby down, bend that baby down, and then uh, here's your little clicker on top. And what you want to do is, whoops, just pull this off, I guess. Might have to screw this in, make it better. Anyway. What you want to do, you want to pair it. So you just uh, click it, just hold this down. And then it will pair. See how it turns red on the top? And then they know to talk to each other. And then we will, um, I'll go mount this. Actually, I'm not going to mount it. What we're going to do is we're going to run a zone. We're going to run a. We're going to run a zone, and then I'm going to hold this down and see if it actually turns it off. And then we'll just then we'll mount it. Okay, we got the big test. It's all wired in, and you can test it by holding down this uh, little knobby knob on the top. So here we go. Let's see if it works. Yes, I oh, got it. All righty. <laughs> All right, excellent. And then we'll turn it back on just like that. Great. All righty, so we're going to take a look at some of these lights on the on the receiver here. Um, obviously, the power light is on. That means it's on. If there's no green light, it's not on. Uh, signal one's fairly important. If it's a solid light like that, means you have a good signal to the receiver and if it's blinking it means it's okay and then if you don't have a light no green light it's just blank empty then it is not connected and then up here you got your rain sensor status um, and so we'll just test it right here we'll just hold down this guy and then the red light will come on and it turns off the system. And then we'll release and then it comes back on. So before you mount this guy, you wanna set it on the uh, trigger point. Uh, I usually just default to a quarter inch. You can do three quarter, a one eighth half inch or metric. And then, and then, uh, yeah, we'll just mount it up there and I'll sh get you a picture of that. And we'll be good to go. So I suppose I should uh, show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. I, I'm just gonna tw twist it, twist this top part. I'm gonna do it with one hand here. And then either push down or, or bring it up and then slide it over into that notch. So now I got it set at a half inch. And then it has a little vent ring forgot to mention this and that allows uh, the cork in there that expands and cuts off the circuit to dry out quicker if you want it to not dry out as quick you can just move this around um, where we live it doesn't really matter where you put it the things gonna dry out super fast and I think you just have to put you just you would just have to play around with that on your own property See what works best, but uh, you can always just do halfway just to make yourself feel good. So here we go, final setup. Uh, you got your receiver down here, a little <coughs> antenna poking up, wires running up into the controller. And normally I would fix this and drill a hole for this wire to go through, but since it's my dad's place, he's gonna have to just deal with that. Right, so we got the receiver sensor screwed on here, got it all level. And um, since there's no gutters, I had to do it like that. And then, can't really tell, but yeah. The, ir the irrigation controller and receiver's up uh, past that gate. All right, so the very last thing you need to do is just double check you have good si signal strength. So just slide this up and you can see the signal's good. It's solid, green, 
it's not blinking or or not there and then you can also see uh, I wasn't happy with that double stick tape so I went and screwed it down so it won't fall off all right have a great day